was being put in the objective. The, the problem is I need a number of basic terminology or basic concepts in order to state the objective. However, I also state the objective right at the beginning. But in a uh, general objective, so the detailed objective is, is here. I need a, a couple of the slide to explain a related thing in order to go to the detailed objective. So that may be the main point that I need to get to apply today. The main thing. What, what is CRG? The control requirement generator. Can you spell it out? Ah, uh, sure, sure, sure. Letter yes. Especially at the beginning, nobody knows what these variations are. Yes. So, uh, according to your suggestion, I organize the uh, okay, that and the and uh, the introduction. So here, right at the first line, I say the objective. We can say this is the objective. This is the methodology. It's very general. I don't talk into detail at this stage because we don't have enough uh, related terminology in order to state the detailed objective. But the objective of the research is to develop a formal method for the rising control requirement that an inter-organizational procedure must certify in order to limit the opportunistic behavior of the participants. Now, David and I were just discussing about uh, possible uh, after your <laughs> after you finish, I don't want to get too much. But we distinguish between the clients and the agents. In the yeah. And the clients, bad bad conduct on the part of the clients is called fraud. Bad conduct on the part of the agents is called corruption. Mm -hmm. It has. It's a, 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 a new thing. <laughs> 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 we don't see it on the side. <laughs> 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 That's a good <laughs> so obviously this is out of date. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Can I get back to our musketeer session? Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so the method I do most of the, the current um, methods for analysis of control in inter-organizational procedure now. But you are talking about the clients. In that terminology, you're talking about the clients. I, I need to rethink it. I'm not good yet. <laughs> But most of the current methods for the writing control or analysis of control in internal or interorganizational procedure apply the principles from accounting and auditing. And what they do is they look at the current procedure. The current procedure in the uh, interorganizational business is usually in the form of documentary procedure, the exchange of documents among participants. So what they do is they apply principles from accounting and auditing to see whether the procedure complies with the requirement of the uh, auditing organization or not. So the thing I do here is a little bit different. Instead of looking at the documentary procedure, I model and examine the underlying deontic purpose of the procedure. The underlying deontic purpose, like the contract, the promise, the obligation, right, and so on. And identify the control requirement to secure the purposes. Are you making a difference between procedure and process? So method, under the so-called deontic process, right. and then so but right. several other times you're already talking about procedures. Do you distinguish between a procedure and a process? Uh, yes, procedure. Here I call the deontic process. I don't like to use the term deontic procedure. I, I like to use the term deontic process in contrast with the term business process. I think it's it's better. But under validation, then you talk about payment procedures. Uh, right. The thing I do control here... Control requirements in these procedures right, could be right, derived automatically. Right. This is the current procedure. Mm -hmm. The procedure that let me in the documentary procedure that I mentioned here. Mm -hmm. And I look at the current procedure. The current procedure includes the... But I want you to clarify. Right, right. Can you clarify the difference? Be explicit about what is the difference between the procedure and the process. The process is and what you're supposed to handle the procedure, right? You're handling. The a process is sort of the informal, the larger scope. 
formal and informal and procedures specifically formal, right? Mm, no, in my and then opinion. give your definitions. Right, right, right. Give your working definitions. Right. In in this term for me, specifically is the deontic process. But in the slide. Right. In this give, slide. Give a key somewhere. Procedure is this. Process is this. Right. Because already it's raising questions. Right. And you but don't want to yeah. have questions. Right. But I use the term procedure. I use like the compound term rather than the separate term here. Like a documentary procedure and the deontic process. In the last line, you use it by itself. These procedures. These procedures, that means the documentary procedure. In the last line, these procedures. Yeah, the re control requirement in these procedures. Which procedures? In the yeah. kinds of things, in the documentary procedure. In the documentary procedure, they are already controlled. Right. They have the control inside. Obviously, I understand this. <laughs> I just <laughs> like you clarify. You want feedback, so I'm yeah, that's right. That's right. I got to be as tough as point. possible today. All right, right. That's it. Picky, picky. It's going to be me. <laughs> okay. So I will clarify. So maybe it's much easier to like, change the whole thing to. A documentary process or a deontic process, the single term, because I don't. No, I think there's value in distinguishing this. Yeah, term. I think it's mm -hmm. if you're able to distinguish because the procedure as we use it is something is an artifact. Is uh, is something that has a syntax. Mm -hmm. the process. You can talk about the evolutionary process. Nobody talks about the evolutionary procedure. Right. They talk about the evolutionary process. Process is something pre-formal. But how about the term business process? I don't think it's uh, informal. Sure it is. How about the business like process? The, like the right. agricultural process. So the That's right. But the, term but the like process is something that can evolve in the organization. Right. right. Process models. Process model or business process. The procedure process. is in some sense a model of the process. The procedure is a model of the process. I don't think so. Maybe a workflow or something like that. I try to define, <laughs> it, define your terms and we'll settle okay, it, but okay, make sure yeah. that you define. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Just without taking this as a you know face value, objective. Develop a formal method for deriving control requirements that an inner organization procedure must satisfy. So this assumes you already have a procedure and you're analyzing it. I mean, it's not, is that, does the objective then relate to one particular procedure? Because that's what it seems to tell me. No, no, no. That no. an inner organization procedure must satisfy. Like, here's a procedure. Right. You're going to derive control requirements. That's the, how I read it. Mm, yeah, that's right. Maybe it's not so clear. Uh, maybe it's a, a group of procedures. I don't know. It just no, no. Yeah, but the thing here, I look at the underlying contract of a transaction. The transaction in inter-organizational contract needs to be done based on certain kinds of contract. And beside that, there's some certain regulation that govern the transaction. And based on observing the characteristics of the contract that govern the transaction, I derive the control requirement that need to certify, that need to be certified by the procedure to support that transaction. Okay, but I'm just that, a yeah, very simplistic view. You're 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 creating a method to derive control requirements. But yeah. to me, derive means you're getting them from something. You're deriving them from exactly. something. Exactly. What is it the from? The what are you deriving process. it from? Right, the deontic process. The right you're getting the from a deontic process. Right, right, the deontic process. So I, I think I may need to input the deontic process. Some you, see, you say no. You say that in the method. I, I, I disagree with David here because I think I 
The objective is clear if you follow through that you, it examines the underlying the deontic things. purpose. All right, if you right, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Based on the yeah. un, that whatever that underlying deontic purpose is, yeah. is going to give you the control requirement. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. So the thing here, like, 